as well as uh, some cool stuff at the catacombs to show you today. So uh, when you guys are in, go ahead and say, how to do? How to do? Woo-hoo-hoo. Look at that baby. Who's in here? I, know, I, got, I got three of you watching, and I know one's me. So uh, who's out there today? Come on and say hi. I don't fight, and I got all my shots, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a great week. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Always good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, Eric Hart. My heart would be broken if you weren't here, Eric. What's up, man? How are you? Oh, it's so great to see all you people. So we got uh, some news. We've got a new uh, Swarm Club member spotlight for everyone. And I think it's one that's, uh, well, I'm sure everyone's going to love because he really loves to stir the pot when it comes to the oppressor. So uh, <laughs> you guys know who I'm talking about. So uh, <laughs> I love this guy. Very, very sweet. Sworn uh, club member, very funny guy. He's always just ripping into Brandy the Oppressor. The man who coined the phrase justice for Jeff and dignity for Dakota and Nicole Rogers. How are you? John Harris. Hi, Kane. How are you? Oh my God, thank you guys. So good to see you guys. Thank you for joining me today. Um, so let's start things off with a little Swarm Club member spotlight. I am very, very happy today to spotlight Swarm Club member Miguel Apodaca. This man has uh, really, I think, uh, brings out the humor in us all. Um, he's really quick-witted. He does some amazing memes. Uh, he calls Brandy the oppressor. Um, just a wonderful man. If you guys haven't met him, um, I know them, uh, Miguel personally. Really nice guy. Very sweet man. Uh, I've been seeing him on and off as long as I've been slinging comics here in Arizona. <coughs> He's always been a fan of Brian and uh, always been a fan of Lady Death and everything we do. So, Miguel Apodaca, sworn club member. Um, so here's his post to say, mail call. I know everyone loves it when the oppressor writes on your order, but I have El Madam Presidente Francisco Polito proof positive that everyone at Coffin busts their asses to be the best in the business. That is true. Uh, what he's talking about is Francesca, uh, president of Coffin Comics, when we uh, are behind, all of us who work in the offices, um, who we work um, off-site, we all come in and help get the orders out when need be. So Francesca, who I mentioned before, is the president of the company. She came in, she helped pick and pack orders, and she wrote a really uh, beautiful note to uh, Miguel on his box. And um, yeah. Thank you, Miguel, for doing all the cool stuff you do. I love the coffee mugs. Can't wait to get mine. And uh, yeah, it's just been great. Steve Bates. How do you? I do sometimes. Some items can be discounted um, on the catacombs. Most of the items that are not are tend to be like vault items. I, unless they're scratch and dent, um, they're usually not uh, allowed to be discounted. Hope that answered your question. Um, and I, I like my crazy mad scientist hair. Come on, man. I, 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 you know how long I sit at my computer like this? 
ready to pull things from the catacombs for you guys? Of course my hair is a wreck. It's crazy. I do own a brush. I just hate brushing my hair. Um, so that answers your question. And Steve, I hope you're having an amazing day, and I can't wait to see you at the Swarm Fest. All right, some things to announce. February 3rd, Coffin TV over our YouTube channel will be uploading Catching Up with Don McTague. So uh, we'll be uploading a video that uh, Jimmy had recorded, uh, basically uh, getting all caught up with uh, what's going on in the life of artist uh, Don McTague, who will be a guest at Swarm Fest and who has done some of our stunning covers over the years. So go to Coffin TV February 3rd, which is tomorrow. Gosh, February 3rd is already tomorrow. Um, to go ahead and like and subscribe to our Coffin TV. Anytime we upload content, you'll be in the know. And let's see what's, uh, what has Don McTague been up to this past year. Also, another uh, announcement. February 10th, we will be doing our Swarm Club prize drawing. So make sure you're here for that. So a lot of people are on our Swarm Club, Swarm Club, why can't I jo join the Swarm Club? There is very many, many benefits to being a club member. Like, yearly benefits include special access, Coffin uh, Comics Insider News before anyone else, so you're in the know before the general public. Early access to Coffin Comics shop promotions. When we do a promotion, you're a club member, you'll get a special code so you can actually go shopping an hour before the general public. That's a good bonus, because some of these editions fly out quick. Look at the Sun K uh, promo we did last weekend. Holy cow, that was a total fiend frenzy. Uh, there's also invite-only special online events and announcements, so you get to know the secret information. Uh, special access to Coffin Comics. Um, Sword Club member-only comics and merchandise. A one-time 10% discount on certain items offered on CoffinComicShop.com uh, coffin and you are automatically entered into our monthly drawings. And um, I'm going to be uh, getting those pulled up today when I'm done here and uh, get a lot of stuff planned for because we're now three weeks out from Swordfest. Uh, the pre-sale for exclusives are live right now. Here's the announcement. Swarm Fest is not your average comic book convention. Fans of Brian Polito, Coffin Comics, or fans of the independent comic book publishing will have an all-access experience of a working comic book publishing company. It's staff and creators in an interactive event. February 25th, 26th, and 27th, here in Mesa, Arizona. The official location is the Mesa Convention Center, Building B, um, there's going to be lots of exclusives. There's going to be parties, artists, signings, panels, beer, food, coffee, alcohol, uh, HQ visits, trading posts, which was huge, huge uh, last time, CGC, a fiendship, camaraderie, community, and more. We can pass for running $40. Get that pass. Also, if you will have a pass and you're doing the pre-sale on the exclusives, that sale ends Monday, February 7th at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 4 p.m. for all our fiends and fans on the Pacific Coast, 7 p.m. for all you lovely people on the East Coast. Okay, so here's some of the um, editions. Again, black and white printing. Here's some of the editions we are offering. And there's an important note. Very important note, in the event a weekend pass does not get redeemed at the event, the purchaser must contact inquiries at Coffin Comics after the event between February 28th and March 14th to request that the free with weekend pass physical items be shipped to you. A shipping fee will be charged for this service. The free with Weekend Pass physical items include, but will not be limited to, collectible hollow foil ticket and the exclusive Swarm Fest edition comic. If you participate in the pre-order, but do not come to Swarm Fest, 
contact us after the event to arrange for shipping and pay for shipping fees. Lots of importance. I know some people, things have happened. Oh, I got to move. I got a new job. I can't make it. If you have the past, reach out to us with inquiries at Coffee Comics. And we'll get you all taken care of. So please, if you can't make the event and you have the weekend pass, we will not be able to help you with any of those exclusives till after the event. So reach out to us on the 28th. Uh, at inquiries at Coffin Comics and Mel and everyone to get you taken care of. These editions are amazing. I actually have some 11 by 17 representations the Marat Michaels, so you can also pre order these prints too. What do we have here? Ooh, look at that. Captain Scar's Scar Grave, both a naughty and nice by Dan Mendoza. God, these are beautiful. Whew. Oh, Mr. Harrigan, get the fingers in place. Harrigan, Hellwitch. Wow, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, there's a nice version by him. Really stunning. David Harrigan, you've, you've really uh, stepped up the game to a whole new level. There is the cosplay, Sapphire Nova. She will be there. Also, here is the Monty Moore edition we'll be offering. Don McTague. Joel Gomez, again, just killing it. And Diego Bernard. So these are prints. We don't have the books just yet because we are having them made, so we get everything in there. What do we have here? Yes. Jimmy was so quick on research. Steve Bates. On Monday. Oh my God! Yeah, can you believe it? Valentine's Day is coming up. Oh, also, um, it's the year of the tiger today too. Happy Chinese New Year! All right, some other things coming up. We got a Kickstarter coming up. Lady Death Necrotic Genesis is five weeks. God, I can't believe it. five weeks, and the next chapter of Lady Death is upon us now. We always do these really great um, launch parties. This is going to be Wednesday, March 9th, uh, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, so 6 p.m. Pacific and uh, East Coast at 9 p.m. Let's just show you a very bad uh, copy of a black and white version of the Sun K Naughty Edition. Woo! I can't wait to see what this beauty looks like colored. Beautiful, beautiful. This is one of the additions for Necrotic Genesis. There's two more. Um, there is, uh, oh God, I don't have my glasses on. This is the uh, Monty Moore edition, as well as the, oh God, my eyes are shot. The hollow foil edition. Wow, look at that. I can't wait to see what that looks all hollow foiled out. And there's the Monty one. Really stunning stuff, but that's just a tip. So join us for our Kickstarter launch of Lady Death Necrotic Genesis number one. I can't believe I'm not butchering it as bad as I thought. Wednesday, March 9th, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard, AZ time, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. on the East Coast. So don't miss it. We're always having fun, and we'd love for you guys to join in the fun. All right, let's get on to some catacombs. I have today, uh, Dakota found these. Um, I don't know where, because I didn't know we had these, but we have eight copies. David Harrigan's Control prints, signed by both Brian and David Harrigan. I got about eight of these available right now on the catacombs. Continuing with our scratch and dent selections, I just uploaded La Muerta Retaliation Premier Edition scratch and dents. These are available right now. Amy, how are you? <coughs> Excuse me. Bless me. <laughs> so this is available right now. All right, I got a couple of raw editions. First one we have is Bless Me Anthem, raw edition. I have two. These are scratch and dead. So I have two available right now. And then I have one copy of the Unholy Ruin, number one raw edition. 
All right, some other fun stuff I got for you guys. Ooh, how about a little uh, La Muerta Onslaught, Naughty Sombra Scratch and Dead. I think I got about, um, about 20 of these, and these go fast. Um, the last few times I've had some of this stuff um, on Scratch and Dead, they tend to fly out fairly quickly. Like I say, all I have is what I have, so once they're out, they're out. All right, also, I found these in an old con box. These are Scratch and Dent of Hell Witch, the Forsaken original art. I have three of them. They have been discounted. So um, if you don't mind some dings on these, well, here you go. Here's a nice discounted original art editions for Hell Witch. Make sure you get a Coffee Comics artist to do some art on these things. Let's make it legit. All right, for all you card fans, I've got a lot of uh, fun little things. I have a signed waterfall, scratch and dent, signed by Brian Polito, of course. Beautiful image. Mike DeBalfo again, doing it like he always does it. Stunningly beautiful. All right, I got two Deadly Gaze by Art Germ. These are scratch and dent. I have two available right now. I also found one of the uh, Purgatory uh, Chromium cards. From Wizard Magazine, so I got one right there. I really love these guys. I'd love to see more stuff like that in trading cards. It's one thing that was cool about the 90s. Trading cards, just like comics, just did some crazy, crazy editions. All right, here is the uh, Black Heart edition, Scratch and Dent. And then I also have the Naughty Black Heart as well. And that is also signed, so beep. These are available right now. I only have one of each, and that is it. This is everything I have for you today, guys, and I want to thank you, everybody, for joining me. Um, lots going on here in the warehouse. We're getting ready for Sworn Fest. Three weeks away. I'm so glad it's here. I can't wait to see you all, see if there's any funny things. What's the issues? Oh! Usually like slight dents or chips. Um, let me show you here. A lot of them looks like they got corner hit. This one got hit in a corner, so it dinged it right here. Um, I say they're not too bad, but I say they're not up to the Coffin Comics quality. And let me put the COA back in here for you. And Amy, how are you doing today? I hope life's treating you well. Black heart again on this one. It took a, a, a nick in the corner, so. Yep, and also there's some scratches on the back of them. So. That's definitely not pretty, I don't think. So a lot of it is mostly those scratches on the back of the uh, cards. Yeah, this one has it too. Yeah. Just a lot of scratches, um, so that's why I have them on the scratch and dent. So I hope that answered your question, Amy. I am doing really good, and it's good to hear that you're doing. Steve, you know what? Yeah, I, I wouldn't grade anything that's uh, scratched and dent. I actually had someone reach out to me. He's like, would you want to grade a scratch of that book? And I was like, God, oh, you don't want to grade this, man. It's not in good shape. No. You want something to get graded. Make sure it's a good copy. Unless you're, uh, I actually know some people that try to find the lowest grade of comics for their collection. It's weird, but I, I, I know people that try to find the trashiest copies they can. So there's people out there that like a little bit of everything. So this, oh, oops, I got a missus. Robert Bradford, what's up, man? All right, guys, I gotta wrap it up. I gotta eat some lunch and I got a couple meetings to go to. But I wanna thank you guys personally for joining me today. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you. I will see you guys Monday on Coffin TV. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell anytime we go live or upload videos like tomorrow's Catching Up with Dominic T. I'll talk to you then. I'm out. Oh! Have a beautiful weekend, people. Bye bye.